Howard James was an American traveler and physician. Born in 1866, the son of Howard James and Josephine Wolf, he was a cousin to Henry James. Leading a nomadic life, being a seaman, a newspaper writer and then a physician, he died in 1920. He published only a single book, the 1908 the Rafe of North and Other Stories, published by Vanity Publisher, Broadway Publishing Co., which also published works by his sister Florence. The Rafe of North has Matthew Bergen reminisce about his days as a seaman aboard the Hecuba, remembering how the crew of 20 was hauling lumber for Southampton with two men of note, Olaf, the ship bully, and North, the butt of old jokes aboard the ship. North has a marvellously warm Melton coat, which everyone wants but which he refuses to part with, and then they find him strangled. Just after Olaf says he was promised the coach should not meet misfortune, and of course the requisite haunting commences. The rehabilitation of Dabney concerns Lawrence Dabney, and how after interference from his mother-in-law his marriage ended in divorce, as the marriages of all of his wife's siblings. Unable to find a sinecure and unable to work in the newspapers, he works as a waiter and street vendor so he can make enough money to drink himself into oblivion. Then one day at Christmas, the pretty girl with whose mother he lodges without paying rent tells him to take the world by the horns. So when he finds $1,200, or $35,000 in today's money in the street one day, he decides to gamble it, and is rewarded for having done so. In The Aftermath of Battle, a story of San Juan Hill, a man with his thigh pierced by a bullet is crawling around fields of cacti trying to avoid being shot long enough to make it to a hospital, but then amid his delirium, he has a chance meeting from the time for the war. A meeting which for him is much worse. An armistice is a story of the Boy War, and of a nurse finding during her duty the man who did not marry her daughter before she died alone during childbirth, but is made to forgive him before he dies as she must run off before they start firing again. The testimony of the son concerns a pair going to Hell's Kitchen to investigate the recent murder of a police officer, when they get caught by a gang in a seedy ram den, but manage to escape by virtue of a pen with invisible ink and a magnifying glass being used as a paperweight. Under the shadow of the poppy has artists Matthew Ackerman, whom his father the pastor had just entreated to marry a sensible God-fearing girl, meet Coralie, his muse, and the first thing she does is to tell him they should both smoke opium. She imperiously bosses him around and makes him smoke it, and keeps disappearing for days at a time, until a friend of Ackerman's meets him and asks him to come sketch a new cadaver at the morgue, and you can guess who that may be. The Redemption of Riley has Philpott Riley in prison after he urgently needed money to send his dying wife back home, as the climate would kill her otherwise. Now he has a chance to escape to see his wife again before she dies, but he chooses to save a drowning man instead. In The Dragon of Nansung in a restaurant of Chantoy, Gilbert Morris of the armored cruiser Alaska is at a restaurant when he receives a message to set off to rescue his beloved, who refused to marry him for the sake of a missionary work, but now has been seized by a local Chinese official after he had all her fellow missionaries murdered to cover his tracks. The stories are mostly fine if somewhat unexciting, though the writing in some spots is a bit questionable. 